Adobe Firefly is a wonderful new AI platform. In this video, I will showcase a couple of strong use cases as to why Adobe Firefly is far superior to some of my favorite AI art generators like Midjourney version 5. Adobe Firefly provides users the ability to generate images, extend images, in-paint, change facial features, embark upon conversational editing, generate vectors that can be used within Illustrator, combine photos all at the click of a button, and provide text-based inputs to enhance them and so much more. For the purposes of this video, let's focus on what is currently available to everyone on the beta platform. It just turned autumn here in Canberra and I wanted to explore interior styling options. The image generations were much faster than mid-journey. The UI experience was refreshing and simple. Changing content type maintains the theme so well with very distinctly different output types. I also explored some of the popular themes as well as my all-time favorite, Synthwave. I loved the outputs and hope you did as well. Next, I used the widescreen option to generate landscape images with the similar autumn theme. I explored further to generate a sports car with a similar theme. The outputs were simply amazing and on par with, if not better than, Midjourney version 5. I also loved its ability to provide clear reflections. I have a couple of really cool image generations and photography styles to share with you later on in the video, so stay tuned for them. Now let's explore text effects. This is something many of us have tried in Midjourney, Blue Willow, Dali 2 and failed. Adobe Firefly is exceptional at this and provides high quality PNG files that offer creative flexibility. Keeping with the autumn theme, the text effects on my name looked awesome. While a more creative mind may have enjoyed the loose effects, I'm a huge fan of both the tight and medium versions. I explored further with different backgrounds and also text colors. The templated text effects had a nice 3D look and feel to them. While the range of font options currently available are limited, the thicker fonts do the text effects more justice. I used a couple of simple text prompts to generate icons that can be used on a website. I found selecting graphic options provided the best results. Selecting a popular style digital was the best to generate a style sheet of icons. Let me know in the comments section if you have been able to successfully generate text image or strong icons using one of the other AI art generators. In my months of testing, Adobe Firefly has provided the best results. Here are two other image generations that I am simply excited to share with you all. I started off with the prompt, an alpine landscape with a modern house built on a high mountain cliff. I just love these results and the output quality. Then I added a few more keywords to bring us back to the autumn theme. My outputs were stunning. As we explore on, did you notice it got rid of some of the snow-covered mountain tops and changed the terrain? That's either really smart or sparks of artificial general intelligence. Now let me quickly show you one of my favorite photography styles for autumn winter portraits called double exposure. Double exposure combines two images to tell a compelling story. With just a simple text prompt, I was able to generate some outstanding images. I played around with the lighting effects to make sure they were just perfect. Finally, you guessed it, I had to use Synthwave to bring a pop of that favorite neon color into the images. I would love to know what you thought of Adobe Firefly in the comment section. To find out more on how you can sign up to be part of the beta, as well as to see some of the AI art I was able to generate, 
check out the link in the description. If you would like to unlock the amazing power of Microsoft 365 Copilot to enhance your productivity, click here.